No sanctions will be brought against APUA manager Esworth Martin for what government has determined was a mere misunderstanding in the process of the APUA taking over SEMCorp Limited. Information Minister the Honorable Melford Nicholas explained that Cabinet was satisfied that Martin acted in good faith by ensuring that a private entity, NS Management Limited, continued the operations of the plant to avoid a major disruption. Given the enormous pressures that were put on APUA, there was a general fear and concern that if there was any discontinuity in the operational management of the plant, that would have led to a disruption of the service, that that would have led to a different type of uh, public concern. And it was out of that that uh, the management uh, took a decision to, for that period of time, have the type of continuous maintenance and operation of the plant. Um, and it was no intent upon their part to uh, uh, float the authority or the, the, the policy direction of the cabinet. Minister Nicholas noted that the skill set of the NS management's engineer made it an obvious choice for APUA management to utilize the expertise of the company. I think the NS management company had on board a particular engineer with certain um, relevant um, uh, experience in the operations of these types of plants and I thought that that was the convenience of the decision. On this one, government is moving forward. SEMCORP is now in its hands and gives the APUA a boost in meeting the pressing water needs of households island wide. The APUA is now able to provide the country with up to 6 million gallons of water per day. Some communities, like Barnes Hill, are still experiencing issues, which APUA is working to get rectified. Sherilyn Beza reporting for ABS News.